Okay, so I'm trying to make a scallop border with the Creative Memories circle cutter system. And it is working, but it's going to be a little bit of a practice and know-how to kind of get the feel of, of how it's going to work and knowing where your blade is and how it moves with the system. So what I did was I went ahead and taped my paper down. I drew a line that I wanted to have as the bottom of my points and then a line for the top and what I did was um, I did the first two so that I could kind of see where my blade was in reference to where it's cutting so I'm really just eyeballing this it's about I want to say about an eighth of an inch um, from the edge for the red so that's what I've been doing and then what I'm also doing is I'm kind of looking where my blade is and then placing it over here on this side and I'm kind of looking this way for to see where my blade is so that I can start it right at that point and then I'll travel around and then I kind of got to look at it this way until I hit the second point okay and then that's what I'm doing and then I'm going to move this and slide it over again and do that same thing. What you can do too is you can get a Sharpie marker and you can mark a line across the circle where your center line is on the circle. Um, I'm pretty good at eyeballing, so it's not too far-fetched for me. Okay, see now that one, I did it. It's a little bit short um, on here, so you can see it's coming along and then this one I cut a little bit too short. So I'll probably have to go in and just kind of with my scissors, I can join it or I can just cut it off. However, okay. It's not going to be a big, cause I can, I can go back in with scissors and clean a lot of it up after I'm done. But it tells me that I need to move over just a little bit more and give it a little bit more room that on that side. Okay. I'm going to bring it down on this side just a little bit more too. I'd rather overcut it a little bit than undercut it. Yeah, I'm doing it just a hair short, so I'm going to move it over a little bit more. So that one I cut all the way down to that base. So it's 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 a good it's going to be a practice thing, y'all. It can be done. But like I said, it's going to be practice. So you're going to need to really kind of get to know your templates and get to know how they're working. Okay, and the other thing too is I'm doing this as a gauge so that I can kind of see um, where it's going to sit in regards to from this point with the arc all the way over to here. It's off just ever so slightly. So I need to move it over a hair, but you can see kind of where this is going. So it can be done. We can do a scallop border. And then if you flip it back to the back side, you'll see a couple of like this one. I had the knit that went down way too far because I brought it down way too much. So you, you could see some of that on your designs, but if you're covering, like if you're doing the paws or whatever else, like when you're putting it here with a paw print, you can cover some of those boo-boos, you know, depending on how you want to angle it or whatever else. So if I was doing this and if I was making that same border and then going out like that, that would work. And you could do this same scallop design with any of the circles. So I just chose the smaller one because I figured that would be the best of the, of the circles to do for uh, the size of the paw print. But... Yeah, you, you probably could go up to the next circle. Let me see if I've got it. Candy. Okay, 
So if you go up to the next circle, let's see what we can do with the blue. Let's see how the blue the blue goes. Okay, so we'll draw that same straight line across again. And then because it's a little bit bigger of a scallop, I'm gonna go up another, I'm about, well, let's, let's just eyeball there. How about that? That looks good. Let's do that. Okay. Let's see where that goes. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and instead of the red, I'm going to use the blue because I want it to be a little bit smaller. So let's start over here with the blue on where it's going to get me. You know what? I'm also going to move it down a little bit more so that I'm cutting on the, the line itself. So I'm going to line it up the the where these two skid, skid things are here. You can kind of see that there's a little bit of an edge line there. So I'm going to put my line right on the top part of that edge on the bottom so that I can have a ref point of reference. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start on that line and then I'm going to go all the way over to the other side. So now that I have a point of reference, I'm good. Okay. And then now I can just start from where that is and where that ends and then just go all the way to that line. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's working out better. Okay. And now I can just bring it back over to where my lines touch and then come to the line. There we go. Do it again. And since I'm starting out that way, I can start out where that ends and then just shift it to the right or left. So I'm kind of, again, I'm looking at this side and I'm finding that point and I'm coming down with my line and then I'm going around till I hit that line on the other side. And then moving and then doing it again and then moving and then doing it again. Okay, so there. Now this way, doing it this way, I'm not having any overlap of my blade line. So that's good. Okay, again, moving it to touch. Okay. Another way that we can um, do this, because you'll see here, again, I'm about a quarter of an inch shy on this, is we can start in the middle, and then we can do the scallop. So let's try that on the, this next one here. Let's find my center line. Oh, do I have a centering ruler handy? No, I do not. Okay, so this is 12. Well, I don't need a centering ruler. It's 12 inches, so I can do right at six. And I move my pencil. Okay, so six inches is here. And then I know that this is going to be the halfway point right here, this dot. So again, I'm going to follow those same top marks. Okay, and then I'm going to put that centerpiece right there. And then go on my line and go over to the other part of the line. Okay, now I'm going to move it this way. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do, you probably shouldn't leave the blade on there, um, is I'm going to go from this side on this point. So that's there. Like that. Okay, and that's off there. And then from this one, now I'm going to go this way on the other side. So now I'm going to start over here. Line it up on that side. That way I'm not overlapping my lines and I'm not underdoing it either. Okay. There we go. 
go. And then it's going to go off. There we go. All right, so yeah, that's much better doing it that way. So that worked out perfect. Oops, I cut through. Didn't cut through enough, there it goes. So yeah, now that'll go and that centers that scallop doing it that way. So yeah, I would recommend the second of the circles. Um, and then this is the two and a half, yeah, two and a half inch one. This is the one and a half, this is the two and a half. Um, and then use the blue blade. You could use the green blade if you wanted to get a little bit wider on the semicircles, but that last method I think will work the best for us. Um, so yeah, if you want to go ahead and, and do that, try it and kind of get familiar with it. That'll give us a nice scallop that we can do using the circle templates. I hope that's good. Thanks very much, guys.